All right, here's the deal. I've got two younger sisters, and the older of the two, her name is Becca. She likes to scare me and my youngest sister, Bethany. <laughs> so we need to do something about that. If you're like me, the clear solution is to catch her with a net gun. And conveniently, I've got this bow for my grandpa, and I've got a 3D printer. So yeah, we're making a crossbow net gun. We've got the bow, barrel, choose the net. But the problem is most net guns, they spread the net like this. We need some way to do that, so let's put a spiral in there. And then the net will spin and spread out whenever it gets there. Let's also make the bow be able to turn, put a stock on it and a trigger, we're set. Before building it, I had to figure out how far I wanted it to go, which is about 10 feet before it's completely spread. And you could use the kinetic energy in the mast to find the speed. Build montage, baby! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Might not be what a cowboy would say, but anyway, we gotta test this thing so we can catch my sister. When I'm packing the net into its cartridge, I twist it as it goes in. This way I take up the least amount of space I can, and it's easiest to pack. What's happening is these little weights, when they're spreading out, they're not heavy enough to unwrap this tightly twisted net. What I'm going to try instead is to put the net in without twisting it and I think that the weights will be heavy enough to pull the net apart so it'll spread by the time it gets there. <laughs> that obviously didn't work. The net didn't spread at all. It's supposed to be like six by six feet by the time it spread. Right now it's like four inch diameter or something. You can see the weights are trying to pull the net apart, but even though I didn't twist it, it's still binding up. And I think it's because of this material. I'm gonna have to figure something else out or else this isn't gonna work. It was really difficult to find a good net. You can see this is actually just a decorative net, but I cut it down, tested it. Wow, look at that. That will catch a sister. I just finished the trigger. I gotta, you gotta see this. There it is. Three bolts, hinge, three print, two arms that clamp onto the sheet metal, and then this pretty strange custom trigger, but it does the job. Pull the trigger and it releases the string. As you can see, I designed this barrel to be rifled. Those are the spiral grooves along the inner wall of the barrel. And they're also using firearm barrels. They cause the bullets to rotate, which makes them more accurate. However, in my case, it's just causing the net cartridge to spin. Okay, I've got a question for you. So, you've been able to see this net gun fire a bunch of times, but I want you to think about what's actually happening here. I'll give you two choices, and I want you to think about which one's right. So. These, my, the tips of my fingers are gonna be the weights that are at the corners of the net. So they're inside the gun. When the weights are exiting, they're turning, and then they leave the gun, 
and they start to spread. Okay? It's like a spiral. So they're leaving, they're spreading, and they're rotating. Got that? Okay, that's the first option. Second option, they're in the gun, going down the barrel. When they leave the barrel, they start to spread, but they don't rotate. Okay, first option, leave, spread, and rotate. Second option, leave the barrel, just spread. Which one do you think it is? Option one or two, think fast. <laughs> Sorry, I can't make it that easy. Let's break it down so you can have a better intuition. We've got four weights in this net gun that spread the net, but seeing as they all have the same motion, we can look at the motion of one and say it'll be the same for all the rest. So say this marble is the weight, and then this ring is the barrel. When I lift the ring, that's whenever it's exiting, you can see it has a linear exit. It doesn't rotate anymore after it's left the barrel. Let's watch that one more time. Okay, for real this time. And there you go, it didn't rotate after it left the barrel. And this is the same thing that Newton saw with creation. That something doesn't want to change directions unless its direction is changed by something else. In this case, the barrel and net cartridge are changing the direction of the net and weights, so whenever it leaves the barrel, they're free and they're just gonna go straight. Think about when you're driving your car, and then you make a sudden turn. As soon as you turn that wheel, you get squished up against the side of the car because you, your body, wants to go straight. But the car is turning. What's the point of this? A body in motion tends to stay in motion. So in this case, if something's going a certain direction, it's not going to want to change directions. But in my case, if I'm working on something and then I take a break to get on my phone, I'm going to want to keep being on my phone, so I better not start in the first place. Oh boy, it's time. Let's go surprise Becca. There she is. Go, 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 go! Cut her! <laughs> hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm still trying to figure out these YouTube videos, and I think this one's better than the first two. Let me know what you think. And also, if you have any ideas for future videos, I'm open to it. Anyway, I hope you learned something, and if you like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Hehehehe <laughs>